Well, it's the 12th of May, 2014. I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's about uh, five, nearly 5.30 p.m., and it's storming. And look, you see that uh, fake green space? See the, the gravel in the bottom of that area that could be full of absorbent soil and letting this water soak in? But no, they just fill it up and the gravel, and then the water stands in there and runs off very quickly, quickly fills up. Okay, down at the square on the weekend, and uh, here's a guy with a father and son bulldog team, and here's a father and son, and this is the son of Dustin Bartholomew. If you read the uh, Fayetteville Flyer, he's the guy who does a lot of that work, and it's, I guess uh, one of the founders. And he's a proud daddy down on the square on the weekend. Had to get his picture because he runs so many good pictures in his paper on a lot of things that folks do in Fayetteville. There he is talking with Mayor Jordan on Saturday, which was, what, the uh, uh, ninth, tenth? Anyway, uh, here we are with a Lonicera reticulata, Kinsley's ghost grape honeysuckle. See, the, the leaves are together very much like Lonicera sempervirens that we'll show you some more of here in a minute, which are natives. That's a uh, cosmer of this native honeysuckle that uh, uh, is on the square growing. And this, you recognize, was, well, here's Lonicera sempervirens at World Peace Wake on Prairie. See how many flowers it has and how much more natural it looks. Anyway, uh, that uh, uh, picture you saw, the white thing, that's that's a blackberry flower. And it's in the rose family, like all everything, berries and, and fruit, like uh, uh, the, uh, excuse me, fruit such as the uh, uh, pears and plums and all those things have roses. And, of course, now, this is a showy primrose, and there's a spider. There's a spider who's grabbed an insect, and they're in a mortal battle, and I suspect the spider's winning. And both of those are what we would call beneficial insects, the spider and the fly. And I think that fly is one that maybe catches uh, mosquitoes. That's a... Uh, Passion vine, Passiflora incarnata, and it's a host plant for gulf brittle areas and uh, uh, variegated brittle areas. That's Asclepius virus. You've only heard me say that a thousand times if you've uh, watched this short take uh, system for a few years. That's milkweed, and it's a host plant for uh, the uh, excuse me. Monarch butterfly. This is a non-native species growing out front on World Peace Wetland Prairie where we don't worry about things having to be all natives. And it's a dame's rocket. Here's a little flower fly that I, I blew up a couple of these trying to show you what they look like. They're pollinators just like bees, but they're not bees. But they do similar things, everything except make honey like honeybees. They don't do that, of course. But neither do the native bees. Various colors of irises. You've probably seen them a lot of places, but I'm just sharing a few while they're around. See the rabbit ears? There are so many rabbits this year that I just am forced to make their pictures. That one's in my backyard on the edge of World Peace Wetland Prairie. And uh, he was hiding from me, but I zoomed up on him and somehow got a decent picture or two. That's sassafras. Sassafras leaves are a host plant for, hmm, can I think of it, spice bush swallowtails. They also, of course, use spice bush for their uh, caterpillars to eat on, but the uh, sassafras serves the same purpose. I call it a Cajun spice because that's what they make gumbo filet from. It's sassafras leaves or roots. 
You see eyes peeking out of that uh, iris there? Got a couple of shots of that with the seeming face in there. And that, of course, is yellow. And another of the dozens of different irises out there right now. So uh, I just love to share them every year, even though I has nothing to do with their native species. We don't have many native irises available here in Bell. Until next time, this is Aubrey Shepard, hoping you made some photos while it was flooding in your neighborhood or wherever you were driving. And we'll probably have some more to show you if we're lucky. Thank you. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's 15th of May, 2014. And let's see some photos from Pell, Arkansas. And well, there's a caterpillar of some kind, and the little girl brought that to World Peace Wetland Prairie to see if her dad could help her find. And I got invited to help her figure out what host plant had been, because she didn't have a leaf from the original uh, where she caught it. But anyway, that's uh, Cliff Hughes and his daughter. Now we get to. Uh, <laughs> box turtles again. And this box turtle posed very nicely. Uh, didn't uh, shot these from a few yards away <coughs> with a zoom lens, but you can see how his body is all battered. Beautiful color on his skin, on his, his face and, and front legs under his neck, but uh, the colors badly decomposed, damaged what here on the belly as well as, well as the back of the shell. And the uh, it is a male that uh, damaged area uh, on his underbody there might be from his many encounters over the years, decades of, of breeding. And uh, process, uh, well, Anyway, let's say there's a rocking motion involved, and that, that indentation helps with that. Okay, this is the wild indigo bush, and barely starting to bloom. And it's interesting, if you look at people's uh, photos from South Arkansas right now, they've been in bloom for a while. There's a young box turtle on my daughter's arm a few days ago. And it climbed up on her shoulder. And notice, you photograph it up close because it's not shy. It's never been battered and damaged. So there's something good about uh, uh, the undamaged innocence of youth. And there's a rabbit. I don't think it looks kind of, I don't know, fuzzy, doesn't he? I don't know what's uh, wrong with that cottontail, but he was... He's one of the many competing for vegetation right now. Okay, water running down the street on Monday. Uh, what was that, the 12th or something? And you see he, he was a rapid storm, and there was muddy water running down the street. We'll see something related to that in just a minute. These guys are from the city, and their uh, water department, they're having to dig dirt off of the top of you see those strips down the street? That's where the uh, people have, uh, the gas companies dug up the street to run their lines, chase their lines, and move everybody's uh, uh, meter back near the houses away from the street. Well, in this case, when they, these guys were out there because they had to uncover and lift, actually add to the uh, water meter uh, checking device uh, there. The, the lids you have in your yard and so forth. Okay, uh, irises. Anyway, that, uh, that World Peace Wetland Prairie, after rain, during rain maybe. And there's a variety all over town. You notice a spider. I love those little spiders. And, uh, see it on that uh, daisy. And you can see a little closer there in the drops of water. And I... I just really enjoy the small insects. You'll see a couple others. Okay, here's where water's coming from. In that previous picture of the street with the water running down it, up Center Street. And see how these big apartments are being built right up to the street. They've had most of the street closed uh, for months now. 
while they build this thing right out to the street. Of course, there's no planning there for what will happen if they really have to enlarge the street. And when that street has to be dug up, it's built to the street thing, uh, the urban form, they call it, a traditional urban form. It's not really a great thing for Fayetteville, Arkansas. The, this tiny creature, little almost clear white-bodied thing, is on an elderberry bush. And you can see, I guess that's pretty good close-up for me, holding it steady and, and getting it to focus that close. But uh, here's, well, you might call it, looks pale pink here, but now with a, in sunlight at a different time of day there, uh, you see this iris maybe what we call peach color. And that one's in my yard, but there's another one on World Peace Well and Prairie we should be seeing soon. Okay, chickens, this one's not mine, but it might be if it's still there when I get home because it was in the yard checking out our vegetation. It was checking for some of those tiny insects, and that's what they do. It belongs to a neighbor. I hope it's home by now. Till next time, this is Aubrey Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green, and bring sanity to plants.